at this time, um, I would like to take the opportunity uh, to inform the public as well as my fellow board members. Uh, excuse me. Of uh, the the composition of the superintendent search committee. The search committee consists of six members. Uh, there are three board members. And there are three members who are appointed from the community. The members are from Atlantic City, Mr. Sebastian Chop from Atlantic City, Mr. Kupolis, Mr. Michael Kupolis from Bender, uh, Mr. Bruce Ward from Atlantic City, uh, Ms. Joyce Milano from Atlantic City, and Ms. Paula Gardner, who's from Margie, but she owns business in Atlantic City. Just wanted to put that on record, Ms. Brown. Yes, Mr. Steele. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, it seems like it's on. Okay. I think that's it. Testing one, two, three. Yes, it's there. We're ready. Um, how's everything? How's it going? Good, good. Working. Uh huh. Oh, you I hear that. Got to keep it pushed. Let me. Uh, Board of Education Committee meeting, August 17, 2021. Mrs. Daly here. Mrs. Byer here. Mr. Chowdhury. Mr. Kupalas here. Mr. Devlin. Mr. Herbert. Mr. Hussein. Yes. Yes. Um, Mr. Steele, Mr. Islam called me and said that he's on vacation, so will not be attending tonight. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mr. Johnson. Here. Mr. Steele. Present. A notice of the committee meeting was published in the press of Atlantic City, posted on the bulletin board, and mailed to the city clerk. On backwards, sorry. Mailed to the city clerk and posted on the bulletin board of the city center building at 1300 Atlantic Avenue, Atlantic City, New Jersey, on April 24th, 2021. May we all rise to salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, I have a quorum of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. I have seven people. I don't know how to say. I have I have daily hired. Yeah, what? It's four here that we say and I only have oh, six. Oh, six. Oh, that's why I am. Okay, hold on one sec. Mr. Chalkery, that is correct, Ms. Mars. Um, Mr. Chalkery is coming up at six o'clock. Okay. So yes, we do have we do have a quorum. Okay. Um, we know the division of mission statement, Mr. Caldwell. Do you have anything at this time, or would you like to wait? I would like to wait until the six o'clock. Okay. Public comments. I have no one signed up, Mr. Steele. Okay. Cool. Is anyone online, Dom? Mr. Uh, I have one person that asked to be at the six o'clock. Okay. To speak at six o'clock, but other than that, that's all I'm aware of. Is there anyone online that wishes to speak in the public session right now? Okay. 
Seeing that we'll move forward with the agenda. Let's start with personnel. Are there any questions for personnel? Excuse me, I'm sorry, policy. Uh, one through three. Are there any questions of personnel one through 25? Mr. Steele, yes, I have an amendment on personnel, please. Yeah. It is on page six, resolution number six, letter D, Noreen Gale. She declined the offer okay. of employment. So I had already made the copies. Okay. Um, Ms. 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 If you take the same page, page six for me, yes. and the first one, number C, just make a note now because we made it uh, from Maya Banfield. I looked at the example. Is that five? That page five? Yeah. Well, that's page six. Mm -hmm. Couple page six. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay, yes. I just was wondering the uh, in-house candidate who's been with us for a few years also applied. So I'll talk to you all sometime. We'll find out why we took the outside candidate opposed to the inside candidate. So we can talk about that. Any more questions? Oh, I have a question, uh, Mr. Caldwell, for well, number nine. Just curious. Um, why are we using two individuals? That's the discussion with Mr. Miller, which I thought was a great idea. Plus, of the pools, uh, we normally pay a stipend of eighteen thousand for one person. We're going to split this up. Both of these gentlemen uh, have their CPO certifications. One is out, one comes up short, one is missing. Uh, we won't fall short. That will be how cheap we made it to the court. So the numbers haven't changed. We just split it between two people. Yes. Okay. Um, and number fifteen, Mr. Ms. Saunders. Or, uh, is this is a medical advisory committee staff for 406 hours. What exactly? What exactly does that entail? It seems like a lot of hours. Yes, yeah, it's like about uh, 15. Doesn't say what they're going to be doing. This is, um, we had them this year, it's because of COVID. So these are um, two of our nurses who. Uh, would, uh, if you had a case of COVID, we would call into them. They would track and trace, um, give advice, and uh, they also get a lot of advisory information from the county health department. So these are our two experts. These are out of their normal hours? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. We would call them 24 7. And if, 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 I, if I may, uh, because I don't. <laughs> Um, the contact tracing, the communication with the county health department, uh, the information from the CDC, and what we've done and what's been successful throughout uh, this, this pandemic is that our nurses have been the point, point people uh, for uh, the medical professionals. So uh, if we have someone who contracts the virus, they are doing the contact tracing. So they're starting tracing, they're advising, they're giving advice. This is, this is really, really uh, invaluable, invaluable service for us while we're going through this. Okay. And that's kind of what the funds were meant for help us. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Are there any more questions in personnel? Anyone? Student services? Are there any questions in student services? Seeing none. Any questions on curriculum and instruction? 1 through 51? Yes. Number 10 is not offered. I think it's just a uh, numerical, it's a numbering. There's nothing next to number 10. Okay. Uh, resolution 33 and 34. Yeah. Can somebody explain 33? Yes, they're not working. Oh, they're not working. Uh, yes, uh, 
Mr. Crofton actually used to work for Land Care, which um, was housed up in the second floor uh, suite of the high school in guidance. And um, that's kind of lost his funding at this point. Um, and he has gone out on his own. And we have used him in the past for different services. Uh, he's actually going to go out and do more services for us than we've had in the past. He's going to, I believe there is child abuse prevention, which is uh, required that we provide that training. Uh, then uh, he's also going to uh, do uh, some counseling in elementary. I believe he's also going to do suicide prevention workshops. Uh, workshops will be done both for students and for staff and for parents. Okay, so my question from 33 is the, the, the um, numbers. Um, well, sessions at a rate of $500. Dollars, so it says it says it says 200 for faculty and students per session. Then it says seven sessions at 500. Seven parent child prevention sessions at per session. So I think I'm trying to get at where does nine thousand come um, from? Hold on, let's see. This is uh, probably similar similar rate if you remember we do. Uh, the Reggie Dad series of cabinets uh, that come out and do it, and I believe these are pretty similar things. So let me see if I can figure it out for you. Um, Um, uh, Mr. Steele, yeah. this is if you go back to Red Ribbon and Blue Ribbon Week, where we use uh, uh, we were using uh, Reggie the Reggie Dabs company. Um, these are uh, like five hundred dollars per session. I'm pretty normal, so I thirty five hundred dollars for the seven sessions, uh, and then that will leave me with what? That would leave 11 sessions of 11 schools. Uh, let me see. Okay. So, seven parents. So, the seven are for parents, and the 11 uh, at 500 would be for the school. So, 11 times 500, and then the seven times 500, that comes to the 9,000. Yeah. Okay, so where does the 200 come from? Let's see, two hundred dollars per second. Uh, let me see. Faculty and students at. Uh, hold on. Presentation. Faculty and students at the rate of two hundred dollars. Right. That's the key, right? That's two hundred dollars times the double school. Twenty-two hundred. Twenty-two hundred thirty-five. You know what? I will have to. Yeah. Um, what you say? I have a I have a um request. Mm -hmm. Can we can we do an RFP for this for for thirty four? This seems like a lot of money to just for one individual. Yeah, that's that's like thirteen thousand dollars a month. To twelve thousand eight hundred dollars a month. Uh, we're on page. And then I still Numbers need 33 for 33. And 34. So, we'll go for 34 will go to RFP. For 34? Mm -hmm. And 33 as well? Or? Oh, we call it RFP. And 33 as well? Yeah, we call it RFP. Sounds good for me. Okay. Does anybody have a question on resolution 33 and 34? Correct. Okay. Uh, any more questions on curriculum and instruction? <coughs> Seeing none, any questions on buildings and grounds 1 through 15? Mr. Steele? Yes. So, on buildings and grounds, resolution number 1. Contract number 21-0007, which is the first one. 
yes. you have a custodian that is going to volunteer. Okay. So it is the sixteen hundred and twenty dollars is going to be, become zero. Okay. Okay. So noted. Are there any questions? Ms. Ms. Riley? If, if I may make a recommendation for an addition for the buildings and grounds. At point one, approve building use as follows, subject to number providing the insurance certification. Okay. No, that's the subject to providing insurance certification. Okay. Insurance certificate. Okay. Are there any questions? Seeing none, are there any questions of goods and services 1 through 17? Ms. Bailey? Who had reached the doctor? Number 8, we said we spend the what does that mean? Uh, what is it? Oh, trash bags. Yeah, trash bags. What was the center back trash bag? What was the center back trash bag? I mean, that means the, the, bid, the bid came in, it was in his trash bag, mm -hmm. and that means there was there was an issue with the bid, so we're going to go back out. Oh, yeah. The line was trash box. Okay. Okay. Or they weren't able to fill the order, or there was something within the first department. This was felt to be sent. And the question was number seven. Ms. Byer, number seven. Okay, okay. let's do this to reach out to Number seven. All oh, right, right. I got to That's that's what we charge them. To, uh, Can't hear the question. I'm sorry. Number seven. Was there a question on the tuition? Yeah, that's the sprinkles. Yeah, Ms. Byron just wanted to know uh, what that was. But yes, this is the um, this is what we charge the sending districts to send their students to the Atlantic City um, School District. Ventnor, Brigantine, Margate, and Longport. Longport only have one student. So this is what we are charging for the tuition for the 21-22 school year. How many does Ventnor have? Um, I will have to pull up that document, but I... Let me put up the document and um, get you that answer, um, Ms. Byard. I don't remember, but I think I do have the paperwork at home. Are there any other questions? All right. All right, at this time, I need a motion to adjourn the committee meeting. Mr. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Um, I just have one addition to closed session. Okay. Um, so under closed session, we're adding ACDOE versus MD Hussein. Okay. okay. So noted. Thank you. Number 18. Number 18. 18 is number 18. Yeah. It is after executive session. Oh, so we got to. Oh, that's it. That'll be for first time for discussion. We're are there any more questions on the agenda? Seeing none, I need a motion to adjourn. Motion by Ms. Byron, second by Ms. Bailey. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Right. Opposed? Motion carries. Adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.
on 1, 6 p.m. Mrs. Bailey? Here. Mrs. Byer? Here. Mrs. Byer? Here. Thank you. Mr. Chowbury? Yes. Mr. Kupales? Here. Mr. Devlin? Mr. Herbert? Mr. Hussein? I can't see if he's up there now. Mr. Islam is not here. Mr. Johnson? Here. Neil? Here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. A notice of the regular meeting was published in the Press of Atlantic City, mailed to the city clerk, and posted on the bulletin board of the city center building at 1300 Atlantic City, New Jersey, on April 24th, 2021. May we all rise to salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please note the vision official statement for the record. At this time, Mr. Caldwell, would you like to read? Thank you, President Steele. I would like to take a few minutes to recognize two special schools. Chelsea Heights and Sovereign Avenue for their work as professional learning communities who will now join the ranks of approximately 200 schools in districts throughout the United States and Canada to be named a model PLC school. <laughs> they turn the camera around and the principals are there with their mask on. <laughs> we are proud to recognize the commitment of our administrators at these respective schools. And in the audience, we have Ms. Medina Payton, principal of the Sovereign Avenue School. Ms. Nicole Williams, the vice principal of the Sovereign Avenue School. And I'm gonna introduce our mascot of the Sovereign Avenue School, which TV. is the? TV. TD is his name. We call it TD? TD. TD is here tonight. Welcome. Welcome to the Unfortunately, he had a previous engagement, but Mr. Ken Flood of the Chelsea High School uh, was, was unable to make it, but we want to recognize uh, him also for his leadership and commitment to the important work. We congratulate these administrators and their entire staff for their remarkable achievement and look forward to the resulting student achievements. We also thank this board and previous boards, thank these boards, I'm sorry, for the continued support of our professional learning community and collaborative team. So that's all that, all those resolutions that you see, and we're talking about PLCs, right. it paid off. All right. So, <laughs> Ms. Payton, Ms. Williams, if you want to say anything briefly, you don't have to, I don't want to put you on the spot. TD, if you want to say something, you're more than welcome. TD doesn't speak. Okay, but I want, I want everyone to know TD has a mask on and is following all COVID protocols. So TD, I'm proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> Again, seriously, thank you guys. Job well done. Thank Job you. well done. Yes. Thank, yes. thank you to the board. Yeah, thank you to the board and to our great teachers who work in collaborative teams. Um, on a ongoing basis. And again, without the board support, we would be we're doing what we're doing so we, we thank you so much mr bird thank you for bringing us aboard and again we're going to keep up the good work because it's for our kids of atlantic city right 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 anything else mr cole no. well we just with the start of school in a few weeks i want to thank this board i want to thank our state monitor i want to thank, thank my administrative team for all the hard work, it's been a long, tumultuous year and a half. I, I've almost lost count uh, since we began this journey, uh, March of 2020. But without the dedicated staff, the commitment from this board, our state monitor, our solicitor, everyone 
as a team. We, we fought through this and we're coming back in September. We're bringing students back in person. Um, I don't know what the future holds, but I know we're ready. We're prepared. I want to thank the parents for this for this long journey that they were on with us. Uh, thank the community. And we're going to be ready in September. We're going to welcome everyone back uh, in person. And uh, again, all we can do is thank everyone again as the man upstairs uh, for his help coming in September. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Caldwell. Um, at this time, um, I would like to take the opportunity uh, to inform the public as well as my fellow board members uh, excuse me, of the, the composition of the superintendent search committee. The search committee consists of six members. Uh, there are three board members and there are three members who are appointed from the community. The members are from Atlantic City, Mr. Sebastian Chow from Atlantic City, Mr. Kupoles, Mr. Michael Kupoles from Vendor, uh, Mr. Bruce Ward from Atlantic City, uh, Ms. Joyce Molyneux from Atlantic City, and Ms. Paula Gardner, who's from Margate, but she owns business in Atlantic City. Just wanted to put that on record, Ms. Brown. Yes, Mr. Steele. Okay, at this time, are there any questions? <laughs> okay, seeing none, I need a motion to move resolutions, personnel. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> and anyone, is anyone here for public comment? Online. Mr. Harris, do you have uh, Tanya Palin. Are you on? Ms. Palin, are you on? Ms. Okay. Is there anyone else that's on the Zoom there, call? Anyone wish to speak in the public portion? Okay. Does anyone wish to speak in the public portion? Seeing none in the public portion at this time is closed. I need a motion to move resolutions, personnel one. I'm sorry, I keep doing this. <laughs> Policy resolution one, two, three. Motion. Motion by Mr. Johnson. Second. Second by Ms. Bailey. Are there any questions? All those, in, excuse me, Ms. Brown, call the vote, please. Mrs. Bailey. Yes. Mrs. Fire. Yes. Mr. Chowdhury. Yes. Yes, that's a sending this for it. No, to all. Abstain. That's okay. Yes. Mr. Herbert. Mr. Islam is on vacation. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Deal. Yes. Thank you. Policy carries. At this time, we need a motion for personnel 1 through 25. Motion. Second. Motion by Ms. Bailey, second by Mr. Kubelis. Ms. Brown. Mrs. Bailey? Yes. Mrs. Byer? Yes. Mr. Chowdhury? Yes. Yes, it's ascending district. Abstain from the rest. Mr. Devlin? Yes. Mr. Herbert, did he sign in? No? Okay. And Mr. Hussein's not in? Mr. Hussein's on vacation. Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Steele? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries for personnel. At this time, I need a motion to move school services. Resolution 1. Motion. Motion by Ms. Bailey. I second. second. Seconded by Mr. John. Okay. Mr. Oh. Bailey? Yes. Mr. Fire? Yes. Chowdhury? Yes. Oh my God. Yes, we're sending this list from the room. Mr. Devlin? 
Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. 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 Thank you. Motion carries. At this time, I need a motion to move resolutions 121 to reserve an instruction. And that's removing number 10. No, resolution 10 not being offered. Right, 10 because it's just nothing. And then we were pulling 51 between. And 33 and 34. 33 and 34. Is everyone clear? Resolution 51 will be offered without resolution 33 and 34 if there's no resolution for number 10. And 51, 51. And 51. Okay. 33, 34, and 51 will not be offered. Are there any questions? Ms. Brown? Mrs. Bailey? Yes. This is fire. Do we have a motion? Yeah. Because we started talking about it. I don't know that there there wasn't a motion. There wasn't a motion. Okay, thank you. School bless. I thought I did. Okay, I need a motion. Second. Second. Kelly? Yes. Ms. Fire? Yes. Mr. Chowdhury? Yes. Oh, God. Yes, this is in the district. I've seen yeah, the rest. Mr. Devlin? Yes. Mr. Herbert? Mr. Hussein? Mr. Islam's vacation? Mr. Johnson? Yes. Yes. This time, I need a motion to approve. Building use as follows, subject to providing insurance certificates for resolutions 1 through 15. Motion. Move by Mr. Johnson. Second. Second by Ms. Bailey. Ms. Bailey? Yes. Ms. Byers? Yes. Mr. Chowdhury? Yes. Mr. Kupalaz? Yes. Ascending district of St. Louis. Mr. Devlin? Yes. Mr. Devlin? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Steele? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries. At this time, I need a motion for goods and services, resolutions 1 through 17. Motion. Uh, second. Motion by Mr. Johnson, second by myself. We have a question before we vote. We have a question on this. For resolution number seven. Resolution number seven is to approve this condition contract for 2021 22. Yes. And I asked about this. She's on? Member? Yes, I, I have that information. I did call Celeste. Uh -huh. The general ed numbers for Brigantine Market and Longport are $18,513. Dollars and that is for general ed. Uh, vendors general ed price uh, is eighteen thousand zero zero seven. Now there are other prices involved, and those have to do with special ed. If you would like me to say those, um, like LRC for instance, and this is for all of them, is thirty four thousand eight hundred twelve. The multiply uh, disabled is 15,429. The LLD is 38,288. Confidently, mildly disabled are $33,685. And the last one is the autistic population. Those students are 36,000. $660. Right, but those, um, the, if you remember back, I would guess uh, was around the time of the RIF part of that, mm -hmm. we were at 21 and change for gen ed students. Right. We're down to 18,000 and change. Yeah, so that's it. A nice drop. We was trying to back into the number ourselves, and we couldn't come up with. Well, it. Thank you. That's yeah, why. you could even if you knew how many kids, you wouldn't right. be able to do it because there are all these other things back. Thank Mr. Cooper, does that answer your question? 
Yes. Okay. Oh, that's not a function. And then, Aaron, you have a, you negotiated, according to Celeste, a lesser rate for Gen Ed at 18,007, as I mentioned. Yes, thank you. Uh -huh. oh, thank you. Call the vote, please, Ms. Moran. Yes, Mrs. Bailey. Yes. Abstain on number one. Abstain on M. Bailey, number one. Mrs. Byer. Abstain on all. On all? Okay. Mr. Chowdhury. Yes. Mr. Kupalez. Yes, Mr. Sanders. Abstain from elementary. Yes, Mr. Devlin. Yes. Herbert Hussein and Islam, not there. Mr. Johnson. A fan on one T Johnson only. Yes, on the rest. Mr. Steele. A fan on one D Steele. Yes, on the rest. Motion carries. And Mr. Steele, may may I just yes, ask? Please. Yes. Um, I just received a text message from Miss Tanya Palin. She was unable to get in under public discussion. Okay. So I don't know if you want to. Um, she, that's fine. She wants. She's on it now, but okay. she wants to speak. Miss Palin. Yes. You, you're in the floor for three minutes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. My name is Tanya Palin, and I am the secretary of accounts payable, and I'm coming to you because I am out on FMLA. Um. I was out for 12 weeks. I was due to return back to work. I am actually due to return back to work this Thursday on the 19th. I thought when I filled out my FMLA, I read the paperwork and it said that you are to use your sick time first, your personal, and then your vacation. I didn't see anywhere on the paperwork that said it needed to be approved by your supervisor. When I went out of work, I was not expecting to be out as long as I have been. Unfortunately, I had some issues. I received a call from HR two weeks ago stating my vacation time ran out on July 21st. At that time, they had already, I'm sorry, my sick time had ran out on July 21st. At that time, they had already taken my vacation time and paid me. They told me that I needed to contact select Celeste Ricketts, my supervisor, to see if she could approve my vacation time to allow me to use for the rest of the time that I was out. When I called Celeste, she told me that no, she could not, and she didn't give me a reason as to why. After I had already been paid the vacation time, then I was told that they were taking my retro because I was overpaid $421 and some change to repay this time. I then reached out to um, the superintendent to find out if he could help me out because at this time I'm not getting any paycheck and I still owe for my medical billing fits for this pay that we just went through. And I was told again, no, um, they were not going to help me out. I then went to the state monitor. I sent her an email. I never got a response back. So now I am here to you asking for your help because my family and I really need to be paid. I need to be paid. I'm out of work. I'm due to come back on Thursday, and now I have no paycheck. Yes, I got my retro, but I still need my paycheck to pay my bills. There's going to be a big argument. Before, before you answer that, what? before you Answer I'm sorry, I said it again. Before you make your decision, let me just say that I have been with the Board of Lansing Board of Education since 2013. I don't call out. I'm at work every day on time. I work as many hours as possible to try to complete my work. And I can name on my hands and toes how many times I have been out. I've had one procedure since I've been there, minus the time I've been out this time. I came to work with pain. I was on crutches. I came to work on pain. I had an IV in my arm where I was with an IV for 60 days, and I came to work every day on time to fulfill my job requirements. 
And the one time that I'm out sick and I really do need my job to support me and back me up, I'm told, no, I cannot use my vacation time. And it's like I'm penalized for being sick. Well, Ms. Taylor, unfortunately, this board, we cannot discuss personnel matters in open meeting. Um, so when can I discuss it then? The remedies that I would recommend is you have to go through your supervisor and the superintendent. Um, we as a board cannot comment and we do not um, interject into personnel matters. So, so I'm sorry. So what am I supposed to do to contact my supervisor and do what? What we will do, Mr. Steele, is we will, in conjunction with her supervisor and our board solicitor, resolve this matter. Uh, this is something that we can we cannot discuss in, in a public setting, uh, but we will resolve this matter. Uh, I, I assure you that it will be resolved, and when it's resolved, I will give the findings uh, to both you and the, and the full board. Okay. If, if one, if they, if they want. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Superintendent. You're welcome. All right. It's, yeah, uh, Ma Mary Kent. Mary Kent. Um, Ms. Kent. Mr. Harris just told me she was experiencing the same problem as well, unable to get in. She's on now. Okay. Ms. Kent. How you... Yes, good evening, everybody. Hello. Um, Mr. Caldwell, good evening. Ms. Yan, um, the directors, Mr. Steele, board members. I was asked to attend tonight's meeting on behalf of the Chelsea Heights School regarding the recognition for the model PLC. Um, and I'd like to express my sincerest thanks and gratitude on behalf of Mr. Flood, on the school leadership team, on the staff from Chelsea Heights um, with this recognition. And along with the opportunities and the support that the Atlantic City School District has provided us with professional learning communities and the implementation of that in our school. And in addition, we look forward to uh, continuing representing our school and the district for a model PLC in order to best support our students and children of Atlantic City academically. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Okay. At this time, I make a motion to move into executive session to discuss RFP, RFP substitutes, Alan Thomas, worker compensation, and ACBOE versus Baruch Hussein. Uh, Approximately for one hour. Motion. Second. Motion by Ms. Bailey. Second by Mr. Coopers. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you so much. Six four. Six four. Six four. Motion by Ms. Byron, second by Ms. Bailey. All those in favor say aye. 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 Mr. Here. Yes, he's there. Yes. So let's okay. Yes. Okay. I Ms. Brown? Mrs. Bailey? Yeah. Mrs. Byer? Yeah. Mr. Chowbury? Yes. Mr. Kupagas? Yes. Ascendant District. I've seen from all members. It is a high school person. So okay. Then, uh, um, make it short. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Eel? Yes. Um, I believe Mr. Devlin, he was, he's out. Mr. Herbert's not here, Mr. Hussein, and Mr. Islam. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six affirmative votes. At this time, I need a motion to adjourn. Motion. 
Motion by Ms. Bailey, excuse me, motion by Ms. Byron, second by Ms. Bailey. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.